Okay, we're inside here at Dr. Hallowell School. Miss Renee Dunton is on the right, and she has been the Pennies Coordinator of the Pennies Program since 2005. And actually, the school has raised over $28,000. And Renee, congratulations, because last year you were the number three school in uh, overall fundraising for the Pennies for Patients program. And this is Miss LaFleur, who's the fifth grade teacher. And last year she did a project with the kids, one of our service learning projects to um, coincide with Pennies. And she's going to talk to us about the program. But actually, first, I just wanted to ask you, Miss Dunton, okay. why you've been participating in Pennies for the last eight years? I have been participating in pennies for the last eight years because I've had various family members who have had, you know, cancer or leukemia. So it's a course that's pretty close to my heart. So I really enjoy raising money for the Leukemia Society. Okay, and Miss LaFleur, you've been here for how long participating in pennies? Uh, this is my third year here at Hallowell School participating. And the students in my classroom decided that they were going to make an extension on one of their science projects. They had been working with Borax Solutions and creating crystallized um, products. And what a few of the girls decided to do as their extension was take the theme of pennies for patients and create coins of different denominations and even some bills to show that um, we support pennies for patients and how it's not just about bringing in pennies, but that we could bring in all different sorts of money in. When I originally started, the crystals were clear. They've been sitting for a little while, but you could see the colors of dimes and nickels and quarters and the green bills there. And then they took some time to write up a poster that we would hang in our office to promote pennies for patients also and why it was so important to them. Oh, great. And so for that project, the kids had to take the pipe cleaners and dip them into borax and water yes. in the shape of pennies. Mm -hmm. They would shape them themselves and dip them in, let them sit and set until they would form the, the crystals. Okay, and it was, th these girls came up with this project on the, their own. This on was a little own. bit different than the ones that, mm -hmm. that we had, but they came up with it on their own. Yes, they did. And it was something that they could do by themselves. They created the experiment. They decided how they wanted to use the crystals as an extension to their classroom and school environment. Okay, and did they, were they able to present it to the classroom and yes. talk about what what, and are tied into pennies for patients? Yes, they did, and they were able to share it with the classroom, and then we thought it would be great, to, of course, to share it with Mrs. Dunton, yeah. and she hangs it in our office now. Yeah. Okay. Well, thank you so much for participating in this service lesson, uh, lesson and pennies for patients. Thank you. Thank you.